we have a special guest, okay? Mm. He is a Kenyan comedian and a content creator with a massive following. Can you let the people know, like, when did you start your journey? Like, when did you start being a comedian, a content creator? I make, I make small skits, yeah, um, of things to do with Swahili culture. But, like, it was kind of by accident. Like, I released one video which people enjoyed, and I was like, I'm funny. So <laughs> let me just do this. You know, when you're creating content consistently, like, do you feel like it affects you, like, sometimes mentally? Because, oh, like... Oh, 100%, 100%. You no, know, no one's going to stop me from creating content because that's what I like to do. That's mm -hmm. what I love. People just see one version of you online. Do you feel like you get the support from them? That's a difficult question. <laughs> I can't wait to see the first season because I want to see how you are rating these people's food. We love Benny McCauley. Oh, hello, cutie. So today, we have a special guest, okay? Mm. He is a Kenyan comedian and a content creator with a massive following. Come on. And how I discovered you was, it was a few years back, I think it was 2017 or 18, and yeah. it was on Swahili Snap. Swahili Snap, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like you, I think your sister, um, you guys, I think you guys were at Northampton, and then I was like, oh, he's funny as hell. Like, he's oh, like, yeah. good videos, like, that we can I remember to. this. I remember going to Northampton and uh, on Swahili Snap. I was hosting that day. Yeah, yeah, you was hosting. I had. I was going to Northampton to record with um, Adri, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I added you from then, and then I was just seeing a whole lot of bunch of videos of you like doing skits on your. Um... I appreciate the love, you know, support and everything. I swear to God. It's alright. Thanks. It's alright. It's all right. Right. love. Um, it was like it was like a bunch of skits on um your uni accommodation. With your wigs and everything. Me, obviously, I make I make small skits, yeah, um, of Swahili parents. It doesn't have to be Swahili parents. I do like Swahili parents, you know, just things to do with Swahili culture, and like really, and that's pretty much it. I do things like Swahili parents skits, you know, wife, you know, mm. Swahili wives, and all that stuff. There, I used to do other kind of videos, but let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you deleted some videos. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I deleted them because, you know, you know, you know, when you when you look back at your old videos and start uh, procrastinating or other, it's, it's it's something suitable for for the gram. Oh, okay. But then it kind of wasn't, so I took it off, and like, I kind of didn't want to like carry on with kind of them videos, like, even though people enjoyed it. You know what videos I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. People, people enjoyed it, but the majority of people were like, were they insulted about it? Yeah, but uh, you know, alhamdulillah, I changed for the better, and I don't do the videos. I don't necessarily delete all of them from my page because, yeah, like, I want to like show people where I started from. You yeah. know what I mean, so I'm not gonna be the one to delete all the videos and act like nothing happened. It's yeah. gonna be there. It's something you live and learn from. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so, can you let the people know, like, when did you start your journey? Like, when did you start being a comedian, a content creator? Like, when did you start creating content? All right, let me... Okay, so, uh, I started on YouTube initially, like, I yeah. started first on YouTube doing, like, you know, videos, just vlogs and all that, but I saw a better market on Insta, so I started on Insta. Yeah. I didn't even I didn't even start like it was kind of by accident. Like I released one video which people enjoyed and I was like, I'm funny. So <laughs> let me just do this. So I just yeah. stuck with it and till today I'm just doing it now, I'm just hustling. Yeah. I've got more big things coming soon as well. So do you feel like your you feel do you feel like your market is more on Instagram than YouTube? Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. TikTok? Because you have I, a I don't post, on TikTok I, I, as well, innit? I started TikTok, like, not too long ago. I'd say in this last month. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's kind of, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird one because videos 
that you make. You know, people, people. There's more. There's more, more mark on, on on TikTok. More people are on TikTok nowadays, anyway. Yeah. So I was like, why not just try jump on TikTok, see if my my videos, you know, pop off down there. So. Yeah. That's yeah, I've noticed on TikTok. It. Like, I've I joined TikTok about a few weeks ago, and I feel like it's you can grow your following faster, really quicker, TikTok. really quicker, what, much more faster than Insta. Yeah, Insta. Like, it takes quite long. Yeah. yeah. Um, TikTok is more like for like the youth, and even yeah. nowadays, like there's you know the older community on there. Yeah, because I, mean? I feel like TikTok when like i'm not I, I don't i'm not sure like how long tiktok's been like popular but i feel like back in march when the lockdown started it just went like huge. oh if you were on tiktok then then yeah <laughs> she would have been sick <laughs> but also i wanted to ask you like i forgot to ask you this actually like from the start of the interview like how do you feel like how has lockdown been for you in terms of like you know staying at home and just be being stuck inside like how do, i'm just trying mean? to be getting creative to, to be honest i'm just trying to get more ideas think of more ideas to do mm. i'm just through lockdown i've just been you know filming obviously at the side i'm in uni i'm doing like my own course so it's kind of hard just to balance it out balance you know content creating and and study that's why sometimes you see i'll post it and sometimes i won't do you know what i mean otherwise i'll be more consistent every every day but because i've been uni i'm studying and you know i'm almost finished so i'm, I'm just fo i'm focusing on it but after i finish i'm gonna be on this you know content creating on full-time thing oh okay so what are you studying at the moment at uni i'm doing civil engineering oh okay how you find yeah it? yeah but it's it's i don't know how to explain this uh it's not something i want to do but mm. in the future i don't see myself doing it in the future but i just just gotta get it done backup. for the time being. Yeah, backup. I really want to be. I want to. I want to get into entertainment a lot and there's other things that I want to get into rather than engineering. Yeah. So engineering is just like my plan B. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That goes to my next question. All right, and I want you to answer this like honestly, like on a real. Listen, sure, I'm sure. Tanzanian, so I can relate. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, you said that you're at uni. So yeah. in terms of like of your journey how has this journey been for you as a content creator and as a comedian because obviously you're kenyan and you know yeah. our parents like they're from the old generation right it's more like oh you know when you hit the age of 18 19 20 you have to go and you know you have to go get married have kids ah. and now you go to work <laughs> and then your wife stays at home and looks after the kids and then when you come home you cater to the you cater to your man and everything. So, like, how how has this journey been been like for you as a content creator? Because obviously, as in on my on my on my family side, or as in just family, yeah, maybe family, family side. side. Like, how has it been for you? Like, are they supportive? <laughs> Have they been? Supportive? At first, they didn't. At first, they didn't support me. I ain't gonna lie to you. They don't support. Yeah. They told they idiot for like just doing it. But but they they came around in it, so they so finally they like cause cause them. they they seem like they they thought. Like you doing this, you're not gonna study. It's gonna affect you and study and blah blah blah. I just show them that I can study as well and do content creating with the shit I want to do, and mm. I think that's how they've learned to accept it. Because you know, no one's gonna stop me from creating content because that's what I like to do. That's mm. what I love. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't matter who it is, if it's family, if it's what, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, just you've been doing time, like time. Yeah, I, it's it's hard. It's hard. I ain't gonna lie. To keep up with it, consistency is very hard, you know. Yeah. Because you do one video, yep, that video hits. Then you need to do the other one straight after. You need to do another thing. Mm. You know what I mean? You can't just do one video then stay a month without posting. After you did another one. It didn't work like yeah, that. and that's what I'm doing right now. Actually, I'm just doing like I'm just trying to like budget my time mm. on. On the shit I want, on the stuff I want to do, and um, on uni, I'm just balancing it out. So it's kind of hard at the same time because I started in college times. So yeah. at, around in college, I started doing con creating content, and then uh, when I got to uni, it kind of got harder for me to create content. That's how you see, like I wasn't consistent through through uni, and then I was in student accommodation, so that 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 limited me from from creating content because of the environment I was in. 
you know what I mean? But now, alhamdulillah, I've got like my own yard, everything. Oh, so I'm I'm full making content after right now I'm on holidays. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're on reading week, innit? The Yeah. Yeah. I'm chilling right now. <laughs> oh that's good then. Yeah. Um so what's what are some of the challenges that you've had to face like in terms of being a content creator? So like, you know, do you because obviously you you know, when you're creating content consistently, like do you feel like it affects you like sometimes mentally? Because oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. People think just because you know you you're, you're making these videos and you're you're looking ha you're like you're happy you know yeah. people just see one version of you online mm. rather to what you're actually like and what you actually face during yeah like what challenges you face in your life people don't see that part but you know they're always quick to judge when you make a mistake online do you know what i mean yeah. so but you you kind of you kind of get used to it. you get used to it so you kind of learn, like, you have to learn you, to feel all the negative like, stuff out. Like, how do you out. cope with those feelings that you go through? Like, how do you cope with it? I, like, me, to be honest, I get I get hate through... It's, it's just hate. Trust me, it's hate that, that normally affects you. People hating and, you know, talking trash, the comments, whatnot. But you just you just learn to feel that out. But it just, you just don't read it. You don't read the negative stuff. Just, just focus on the positivity. Yeah. I mean, I ain't read, like, if I post a video, I don't read my comments no more. Like, it is, it is what it is. I don't read yeah. no more. I used to, but, mm -hmm. you know, because you see some, st like, people writing some crazy shit on the comments, and, you know, it's, it just puts you off sometimes. But when I do, when I have the chance, then I read it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you feel That's like, like, this is like, like, I want you to answer this honestly as well. Like, yeah. do you feel like the Kenyan community supports you? The Kenyan community? Oh, the Tanzanian uh, community. Like, do you think, do you feel like you get the support from them? That's a difficult question. <laughs> it's, it's not hard, difficult. It? I know the answer to it. I know the answer to it, but I'm trying no, to no, say it's the nice way possible. I'm just possible. Feel like, in general, like, do you feel like you get enough support from the Kenyan community? No, no, no. You, you, there's never enough support. Do you know what I mean? There's never enough support that is, that will satisfy you. You always want to be supported by your people. But yeah. I don't think the people, my own people, you know, support me. That's why I've got to prove to to my actual people that, you know, I have something to for them to support because I've been making, you know, videos criticizing. Not criticizing, it's just reacting. Let's say, I'll, I'll, say, I'll call it reacting. Because I've been doing them and people have been going off and then, you know, people go off the negative energy they see on the page itself. So automatically they, they're, they're, basically, they're basically fed into this negative energy. Yeah. Which causes them to like, you know, kind of hate you. Yeah. Not, not necessarily hate, but like, you know, not support you just yeah. because of what other people are saying. Because someone can go on my page and just look at comments and and not the actual video, let alone what what if the video is, you know, made them laugh or whatever. But they'll go yeah, I've, on I'm the not on, on the comments. I've seen some of the uh, the craziness on your life, and when I tell you, yeah. it's, it's mad. Like it's it's really like In quarantine times. Yeah, I know, but like. I just feel like people actually like have a lot of time in their hands to like do that. Like, do you know what I mean? I know like you've reacted me, me, to me, 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 to be honest, I don't care because we are just, uh, they're just fans at the end of the day because yeah. you're still, I don't force you to watch me. I don't yeah. force anybody to watch me. If yeah. you want to watch me, fair enough, watch me. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to watch me, don't follow me. Yeah. But if you're following me and then watching me and then liking my video and then talking trashy comments, it's just, you're just a hypocrite. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's so, um, who is your inspiration and who would you like to work with in the future? Like, who would you like to co collaborate with in the future? I've been talking to Eric Omondi. Um, when I'm going to go, when I go to Kenya, I'm going to do something with him. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get into, get onto Churchill. So I've got an audition when I go there. The Churchill show. And, uh, I've, there's, there's so many people that I, I need to like, you know, reach out to because yeah. I haven't had the time to reach out. But I know some. There, there, there's some collabs out there that 
I just need you guys to wait for. Ooh, you know what I mean? This is a bit. I don't know if I'm ready. Yeah. But it's like. I mean, there's, it's not. It's not. Just, trust me. But it's not even just comedy. Trust me. It's not just comedy. I'm gonna surprise every single movies? person on it. Is there movies? Forget movies. I've got yo. There's so much stuff. All oh, my days. I don't even know if I can talk about it. There's okay. I will give you guys. There's that um series that I finished filming. It's currently getting edited right now. Okay. It's called Swahili House Guest. I think I told you about this. I finished yeah, 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 season yeah. one. I'm gonna be film, um, starting filming season two, and that's called full production, 4K camera people, you know, microphones, Ooh, cameras everywhere, lighting in people's yeah. yards. So yeah, that was kind of that's something that's that's coming out in 2021. Um, obviously, a little bit of a little bit of you know music things coming out as well. Oh, I mean, because I've got a passion. I didn't know that you said. Yeah. Wait, hold on. You actually, mm. Wait, hold on. I remember you put like a video out of you singing with your friends, like like a little harmony, like yeah, Ali Kiba. Isn't it Ali Kiba? It was Ali Kiba song, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was there was an Ali Kiba song at the time, and that was like last year my accommodation. I remember that. I don't know do, if it's still on the page though. Him? Yeah, I do, I do, I do. I make music. Oh. So, um, but no one knows it, so it, it kind of is out there now. So, so just expect, is, expect, expect the unexpected. Does your mom know that you sing? No, not yet. Oh, she doesn't. So this is going to be no. a surprise for her. Yeah, it's going to be a big surprise because you know I need to see her reaction. I don't know. What, I'm going to film her reaction as well, so I'm going to show her my my music and then see what she thinks about it in real life. How does film your mom feel when you do your um, little skits on TikTok? She's not on TikTok. No, no, like, I mean, like, how does she feel? You know, when you do your little clips and like, uh, you're doing her reaction. She, she doesn't really mind as long as I don't, you know, swear and use bad language in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But her reaction is funny, I'm not going to lie. I'm a woman, you know, uh, all my comedy comes from my mum. Oh, okay. All them Swahili skits, like... Every idea I've got is from my mum. Like this year, either my mum said this to me, or she's she's done what 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 what, what, what I've been doing on the skits. So exactly oh, okay. how I I I, I don't say it. the exact way I act on yeah. my skits is the exact way my mum is. So. So the comedy runs in the family then. Yeah, I think comedy. My mom don't know. No, my mom don't know she's funny, but she's funny. Yeah, but a lot she's of people they don't know that they're funny, but they're funny. They just talk. They just talk, and we just laugh. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know they'll say some some stuff, and then you know you think it's funny, but they'll they'll be actually be serious. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what it's like. So, in terms of music, who would who would you want to collaborate with? Like in terms oh, music. of music, the first person I want to collaborate with music is. Probably like that's a hard question, you know. Maybe Young Ziddy, maybe Masauti. Oh yeah, Masauti is good. Yeah. Uh, I love artists. I love artists. I, I would love to, Akila. I would love to collab with Akila as well. Um, yeah. who else? And then there's the big collabs as well, which you know that's just you know. Diamond, he but them not there. That's a different story. That's what you have to free yourself. Are you, on? are you on Ali Kibo or Diamonds in terms of? I don't really have a side because I can't be biased. I mean, uh, Ali Kibo is one of my both? guys, isn't it? Would so, you collab with both of them? Yeah, I would because music at the end of the day is just it's just music. It's not about it's not about who. Yeah, it's not about beef and that. It's about entertainment and. And the song itself, do you know what I mean? What people want to hear. Because yeah. they're both talented artists as well. So. 100%. Diamond's more popping right now, but it is what it is. Diamond's been doing much more yeah. re like recently. But I would love to collaborate with yeah, both of them. Yeah, but if you look back, Ali Kiba was the one that started first. You know, do you 100%. Remember? And he took a break. Ali Kiba took a break for like 10 years out of the music. So he ain't released music for 10 years. And he come oh, back and he's still I popping. Notice, you know? Yeah. That's why they call him King Kiba. He left for 10 years, left the music for 10 years, and, you know, he got back into it, just like that. Oh. I didn't even... Because you know what? Like, 
maybe because he's been in the game for so long, like since 2006. Like, yeah, he can hear in his new song, was it mediocre? He said he's been in the game for 18 years and he's still on top. Yeah, That's he's, facts. Still top. he's still doing his thing. That's facts. Still doing you know his what I mean? Because no artist can go without releasing music for 10 years and then come back, back yeah. release a song, and then it's a banger. Oh yeah, that's forget true. one song. The next one, seven consecutive songs, we're all bangers. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's true. That's true. Any but, uh, Kenyan comedians you wanna work with? Omondi, of course. Eric Omondi, of course. Uh, yeah. Churchill. I wanna work with Nasra. Mm. Nasra, the comedian. Um, who else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Would you want to take your comedy, like, outside, like, make it mainstream, like, take it maybe USA and, like, global? Or yeah, would you want to stick it one to day, one. Home, like, Africa. Like, I'm trying, that's why I'm trying to change up my content, like, recently. So I'm trying to, trying to reduce the amount of Swahili I speak in my videos and in my comedy and start with English. Because, let's be honest, Fats, yeah, me, I'm, 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 I'm funny in both in both in both genres in English and Swahili comedy. Yeah, I, I can do both. Yeah, but it's just cause my 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 following right now allows me to get big in 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 Kenya and Tanzania, yeah, yeah. East Africa in general. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So I have to kind of do that. What 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 pe what my people want to see first? Yeah, and then kind of expand into the other side of comedy, like the, the the English side of comedy, which there's a lot of competition right now. Oh, yeah, it's a whole lot. But I'm there's sure a lot of competition, so you've got a huge following anyway. 100%. 100%. I, I can't, it's just, you, you just need to put the time and effort into it. Yeah. You can fit into anywhere. You can do anything you want. It's just time and effort and consistency. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So and right after... now you have, like, platforms such as TikTok, which is yeah. easy for you. Yeah, 100%. I think TikTok will help a lot. A whole lot. It, it helps I'm a not lot saying because it has its own one. TikTok. Let me tell you this: TikTok has its own audience. Yeah. Like on TikTok, I've not received hate yet. <laughs> it is, it is, you know that's what? funny. This. That's actually true, you know. <laughs> I haven't received hate yet on TikTok. It's more and people but, enjoy my videos, it's and, quite and they're kind of than the other they're getting. Hundred percent. Instagram is too toxic right now. Instagram yeah, is too toxic. Yeah, I don't like TikTok. Being like, I, even, like, I, I didn't like it at first until I got into it. It's not really, I think it's the best place to network, but it's not something that you want to yeah. lurk on for that long. TikTok, yeah, because you never know when it's going to die out. You never know when yeah, any app true. is going to die out. So you just got to do your thing, you know, do your thing and then you just hope for the best, really. You don't even hope for the best, just do your thing and then time will tell itself. Time 100%. and effort, like all the effort you put into your work will pay off at the end, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you so, mentioned that, obviously, like, you're at uni right now. So after yeah. uni, you are definitely going full-time with content creating. 100%. 100%. I'm going to take a, a year out and just make content every single day. That's good, yeah. Like, every single day, I want to be uploading new content. That's why I said, that's why, right now, I'm pre-recording all my content. Mm. Right now, because I'm not uploading no content, I'm pre-recording everything. Everything is... It's got a schedule. Yeah. Everything's got a time. Yeah. So it's just on when and when, you know, on what time to release. Do you know what I mean? When's the best time to release this? When's the best time to do this? Because you just got to budget your time all this. Do you know what I mean? But okay, yeah. hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So he helps us. I'm going to come to yours as well. I was supposed to come for the first season, one yeah. episode, but I kind of failed on that one. It's I'm all right. Apologize for that. So I'm gonna fit you onto the second season if you're still gonna be available, um, and we can do it. Listen, I'm always like available to collaborate and work. Like when you first told me about it, I was like, I'm down. It's, like where did where? But we're going there. We're going there for the food. I'm going there for the food. I'm going to eat food and see what you're you're all about. You know, you know what? what? I just have a feeling, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see the first season because I want to see how you're rating these people's food. Oh, it's crazy. Something. It's crazy. I'm I'm, bring, I'm putting my honest opinion. So if the food wasn't nice, I would say it. Because it's not, I don't say it in front of them. I don't where, say it in front of them just to make me feel uncomfortable. So it's a different show. 
So let's say we've done the shot in the, on the dinner table. Yeah. We we finish eating, then we have a different shot um somewhere else where the pe- where the actual guest is not. Do you know what I mean? It's not there. Then I rate the food. I be I, I give my honest opinion. Ooh. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I you're, that's why because that that, that makes help. people wonder like it's better like that because they don't know what I've rated their food and I can't give them their rate of their yeah. food. So. What ventures, projects are you working on right now? You mentioned about Swahili Guest. Is there anything else yeah. that you're working on? Um, there's obviously music. Okay, music. And there's, there's, well, there's a Swahili Guest and there's music right now and just, just content in general. Content so, I mean, creating? More skills. Yeah, more, more skills, just creating more and more content. Okay, so um, in terms of Swahili guest, when will that be out? When are we going to see Swahili guest? Where, which platform? I think around. What platform are you going to see it? It's going to be on YouTube. Yeah, it will be on my channel as well. So, um, okay. if you don't, subscribe, you have to have a subscribe to my YouTube. Then make sure you do it already. Oh, um, listen, make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. I've subscribed. I've seen a few of your reaction videos. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nah, it's gonna be on there. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be a How whole many different. episodes are we gonna have for the first season? There's eight episodes for the first season. Okay. And then there's gonna be for the second season. We're trying to expand it a bit more. To it depends on the reaction of the first one. If people like the first one, then the second one we're gonna do much more. Do you know okay. what I mean? So is the first one will be a big production, or is that for the second season? No, that's not the first one. It's going to be book production. It's oh, already been done. So yeah, you I, mentioned about like going to. Can you just let the people know exactly what is Swahili guest? Because I know you you told me on on the DMs like what is it yeah. really? But so like, yeah, what's Swahili, what you Swahili guest is a show that I'm currently producing. Um, it's about basically I go to different Swahili households. And I try the food that they cook and give it a rate at the end of the day. So if the food was nice, I'll say it's nice. If it wasn't nice, I'll say it was nice. And I give it a number. So kind of similar to what you see on on uh, Come Dine with Me. Mm-hmm. But you don't see you don't see the part where the food is made and all that. It's not it's not like that. It's just me arriving at the house, mm-hmm. trying the food yeah. and getting out. Do you know what I mean? That's good. That's is, pretty much it. Is there any of the guests that you were really impressed with the food and like it was a 10 out of 10? Is there any guest that literally impressed you with their food? Like it was like on point, like perfect. Uh, yeah, there was, there was, there was. But I don't know if I can say the name of the. Oh, no, the no, no, that's fine. Yet. I just want to know because maybe, like, you have, like, you're a bit of a. You need to make sure your food. No, no, no. I love my food. I, I love my food. So I need to know, yeah, two people sour, three people sour. Do you know what I mean? Everything needs to be perfect. If it's not, then I'll say it's not. Oh, 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 oh. I'm excited to see all of this. <laughs> I'm honest. Trust me, I'm honest. Yeah. I don't. I won't cap. I'll tell you my honest opinion on the food. Yeah. And. If it's nice or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, if yeah. I would come back and eat more there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. So But there was one person who who um it went, she cooked the best biryani I've tasted in my life. I'm telling you, best biryani I've tasted in my life. Like, uh, nah. <laughs> I finished it right there. I had like <laughs> seconds as well. You know, it's actually crazy. It's like a whole mad different level production. 4K. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Microphones, you know, it's mad. It was. It, it's, it's awkward when you film because you're just eating and like hella cameras are in your face and and you know hella microphones are just there yeah, above you, sure just waiting for you to talk. I'm sure you've been on like you you've done a whole lot of content, so I'm sure it's more like yeah. I mean, for them, you know it's awkward because they've never been yeah. On for, yeah, for the, I'm not saying for me. Not. For me, I don't care. Yeah, for me, it's not awkward. But for for the for the other yeah. people, it's like they they become, they become a bit shy and all that. but you know we work with it. How come you didn't ask? You know how come you didn't ask me? 
we didn't we didn't make this happen? You know, how come we didn't make this happen? Like it's because it obviously you know, you're, an cook, you're an you're an you're an MK and I'm like a few hours away, so I was just doing these sides first, every sweaty household and on this side. Then I'm gonna stop. Yeah. No, not what's with like right now I'm in Manchester. Oh. Uh, so I live in Manchester right now. Okay, okay. So okay, I'm just okay. doing around these sides, Manchester first, then I'm going straight Birmingham, then I'm coming just going forward basically all the way to London. Oh, so I'm gonna reach I'm gonna reach London maybe on the second season. Alright. And I'll I'll be waiting so for that request. MK M MK MK is in London, so i I'm just gonna pass by yours first as well. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. Hundred percent. I can't I swear. promise you if I'm gonna throw it down like that lady with the biryani, but I'll, I'll make I'll um, make a little side side. Do your best, and I'll give you my honest opinion. <laughs> I can't wait for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited! I'm so excited to see it. Um, is it gonna be around January time, or would you just let us know? Um, it, it should be out around mid to ja mid January to first maybe Fe first February. I'm just trying to push it there to the max. What about me? Right now, I'm just... be January as well. Oh, music is different. Music is different. Are you gonna take time? right now? Mm -mm, I'm not taking time. I mean, I've got a few songs already Ooh. that I just I just want people to wait for. And Any chance of doing a music video? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm releasing a music video with, okay. with the song. I don't want to release an audio first of all, so yeah. I'm gonna release the song with a music video, and I'm gonna be filming that soon. So it's gonna be a crazy, crazy one. Mad models, whatnot, everything. The whole bunch of lot. Oh, that's going to be <clears throat> interesting. Okay, so we're going to finish this off. But mm -hmm. before we leave, I wanted to um, ask you, what's your favourite Swahili food? Like, what is it that is like, like, that's your favourite food, like Swahili food? I've got a mixture of two. Okay. My favourite Swahili food is, is... Biryani, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if that's Swahili or not, if it's Kihindi or whatever. Isn't it Kihindi? I thought it was Kihindi. Ah. Biryani is Kihindi, yeah? I think so, yeah. Biryani is Swahili. Huh? As, do you mean like Swahili, like proper Swahili food that, food that originated from... Proper Swahili food, like proper. Okay, not Pilau, Biryani. We'll talk about proper Swahili food. It was too much alike. I can't really narrow it down to one, but I would say, yeah. Okay, um, can you do... give me like three, top three? Something top that we'll always have. That you like. Something that I would have, like always have. If I have to have Vyazi Karai. Vyazi Karai is my top, on my top list. I know it's plain, yeah. but that shit is bangs different. What is it? I'm telling you, Vyazi Karai. Okay. You know what that is? No, what is it? It's like that fried potato thing. Oh! Okay. So it's like when you, when you, when you, when you, whatever that yellow mix is. You know that mix where you put flour, water, salt, and that it, it just comes yellow and you dip the viaz, it's half of it sliced up and it's got pili oh, okay, in the middle. Okay, 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 I already, okay, yeah. Ah, you're making me hungry. So that and, okay, uh, that and then what chapati. Else? chapati. No, forget, yes. forget, forget chapati. Let's put chapati out. Let's put chapati out. Because that's chapati. too plain. I Me, mean, I'm not a fan of chapati like that. But I have to have chapati with mbazi or maharagwe. With that, oh, then, it, then it bangs. Oh, bangs. And mishkaki, that's it. Nasamaki. Oh, mishkaki. You try mishkaki? I love mishkaki. I love it. Um, I love it. It's amazing. I don't know what who else invented do you like? that. Uh, but yeah, I don't like the Indian one, though. Do you like Urojo? <clears throat> Urodio. I don't like the Hindi one either. What's Urodio? But that's the Urodio. Mix. Nah, Urodio mix. I ain't tried that, you know. Urodio mix that you put by Gia and Chutney and all that. No, nah, no, nah, I think that's the Tanzanian food that people use. And it's like it's like yellow, isn't it? Yeah. No, nah, I haven't tried it yet. So you, I'm, like, I'm okay, so you like chapati, maharagwe? Do you like mhogo? No, fun. Okay, you don't like Mhogo. Do you like no. Ugali? Not a fan as well. I don't like Ugali. Oh, uh, you're not I don't like Ugali. <laughs> nah, it's, like, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. I just don't uh, like it. Ugali, I, I, I shook key. You hear me? You don't go down my throat, man. 
They are jamming and I'm drinking water. It hurts and that. So, I mean, I okay, see, like, Maragwe, the fried potato, and what else? And, uh... Chapati. Mushikaki. Mushikaki. Chapati, leave it out. Chapati, leave it out. Do you like Katleti? Oh, Katleti is nice. That's, that's pain. I love that it. That is pain. I love it. I love Me, it. Me, when I, when I go to weddings. Wow. <laughs> you know the vibes, isn't it? Yeah, that's yo, hey, the 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 wedding. I do have a miss you could pick it like let's see if I can make a meet in 2022. Oh, that's the best thing about seeing weddings. You come and get food. Again. Oh, too much food, man. Too, too much, much food. food. Me, I just, just I go eat biryani and leave the wedding. Adios. <laughs> Literally. I'm telling you. That's what I do in Kenya. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go Kenya soon as well. So, oh, when it's a wedding day. Yeah. Uh, that two weeks time. Oh, okay. You go. Yeah, not in two on weeks. Not in two weeks. Or... What day is it today? No, I'm gonna go there for work actually. Oh, okay, that's good then. Work. Um, not work, work, but you know, content kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm well. Go there for that. It was nice talking to you, Ahmad. It's like, been a pleasure, you know, Fatma. I've really you know. enjoyed it. Any last words? Where can the people find you? Um, Yo, you can find me on Insta, yeah, in my TV. You can find me on TikTok, in my TV. Add me on Snap, in my TV. I post every day on TikTok. That you didn't know, didn't you? I post every day on TikTok because it's... You, it's pre-recorded, isn't it? Nah, I just film it on the spot. Oh, okay. If I get an idea, I'll just do it. Yeah. But uh, TikTok, Insta, YouTube is all in my TV. Um, so you go subscribe to me for... No, I don't. I've not posted YouTube in like seven months, eight months. Mm. I don't post on YouTube like that because it's more time consuming. I don't have the time. Because yeah. YouTube, you know, you need like videos much more longer than, than a minute. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of takes longer to edit a longer video and post it. Yeah. Rather than just doing it on Insta for one minute, yeah. you know, on TikTok, maybe 15 seconds, and yeah. you'll get the same reaction. Do you know what I mean? You'll get yeah. the same reaction. I don't, YouTube, I'm, I want YouTube to be just a place where I'm uploading them, like shows and, you know, different type of content, like good, high quality content and everything. Time, token, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need yeah, YouTube, I want to put a lot of effort into it. That's pretty That's much it. Good. But it's been lovely speaking to you, you know. I really appreciate the opportunity you gave me. Oh, don't to, worry. To We're helping each other out. We're working Come on, together. Of I'm so excited just... for the new show. Um, I can't Thank wait. You. I'll be looking out for that. Um, just let me know when it comes out and I'll promote it on my page as well. So Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 100%. I will, I'll let you know. You're the first person. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll send you the first episode. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you go. Thank you for yep. coming. Thank you. I uh, love your opportunity, man. This uh, is my first know. interview, as you, you can tell. So if I'm nervous, yeah. then... I was nervous as hell. I wasn't sure what to expect.